Welcome to the Learn How to Use WonderLogic Studio training series. Thanks for joining us. In this episode, we're going to show you how to take the oil lubrication system from Lesson 1 and turn that into PLC code that we will then download into Rockwell Studio 5000. OK, now that we've finished designing our project, which in this case was the oil lubrication system from Lesson 1, we'll export it to the PLC and generate code. In the next video, we'll also show you how you can test our model from within WonderLogix once it's loaded into the PLC. To generate the PLC code, click File, Export to PLC, and in this case we're going to pick Rockwell's Allen Bradley Studio 5000. We could pick Siemens as well, which shows experimental in this recording because we were using a beta version of the release, but for this video we'll show you how to download to Rockwell's Allen Bradley Studio 5000. We're going to use the default hardware configuration as well, and click OK. Once we do this, the code is automatically generated and the model logic verification tool is automatically run to ensure there are no critical errors. In this case, the yellow warnings, if you remember from our lesson, were due to the root level inputs enable and reset, which of course don't have logic because they are in the root, and so this is okay in our model. Now, since this model is okay, meaning it has no critical errors, it then brings us to this pop-up dialog to ask us to name our PLC export file. Be sure to not use any spaces in this name and click Save, and you will have created your Studio 5000 formatted L5X file. In our case, we'll just overwrite a previous file called Lubrication System L5X. Now we jump into Studio 5000, and we need to open this file. We don't need to import it, just open it like this and click OK. And before it's converted to an ACD file, which is a Studio 5000 project file, we want to be sure to pick from the lower left and choose our firmware revision level. Currently, we pick version 30, but if you miss this step, we'll show you later in the video where you can change it. We'll click Import, say yes, to overwrite an older file called lubrication underscore system .acd, and in just a few moments, it's done. Here in the I.O. configuration is where we'll pick or define the I.O. card or configuration we want. In our case, this is the one we want and we can connect now to the PLC on our network and download this code to it. So we'll go to the menu bar and click Communications, go Active, and in the pop-up box we see this gray one is the one we want, so we'll select it and click Download to download the PLC code to it. We'll get a standard warning telling us that downloading code to a PLC can be dangerous, which could be true in a production environment, but in this case the PLC is just sitting on our desk and not hooked up to any real equipment yet, so we'll click Download to continue. And when it's done, we get a pop-up telling us it's done and asking if we want to change to remote run mode, and we'll click yes. Now, as we mentioned before about matching the firmware version, if it doesn't match, we'll get a warning. And to fix it, we can right-click the top item here for the controller and then click Properties. And here on the General tab, you'd see this button available to click called Change Controller. But in our case, we don't need to do that, so we're going to click Cancel. And this leaves us in run mode, and we're ready to begin testing our model which we'll show you in our next video. See you there.